हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 8.5 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर द स्पीड ऑफ अ कार इज 105 1/5 किलोमीटर पर आवर ओके 105 होल 1/5 किलोमीटर पर आवर दैट इज द स्पीड ऑफ द कार so here first you have to convert this one into a improper fraction so that means 105 into 5 that will equal to 525 so 525 plus 1 it becomes 526 so write down here 526 by 5 km per hour that is the speed of the car clear find the distance covered it in 3 whole 3 by 5 hours So three whole three by five means again five into three it's fifteen. Fifteen plus three it's eighteen. So eighteen by five hours. So that means here you can write down in one hour. In one hour the car covered the distance here five. In one hour the car can cover the distance five to six by five kilometer. Okay. Then definitely in eighteen by five hours. it can covered 5 to 6 by 5 into 18 by 5 okay 5 to 6 by 5 into 18 by 5 so if you multiply 5 to 6 with 18 it becomes here 9 4 6 8 by 25 km okay now you have to convert this one into a mixed fraction so divide it by 25 so if you divide it by 25 then first here you have 5 threes are okay sorry 25 threes are 25 threes are here 75 okay so now you have to subtract 75 from 94 it's 19 then 6 here now next one here 25 into 7 that one equal to 175 now subtract 175 From 196, it's 21. Now 8 here. Okay. Now next one, 25 into 8, that one equal to 200. So here 18 as remainder. That means 378 whole. 18 by 25 kilometer is your answer. Now number two. If the speed of a car is 50.4 kilometer per hour, then find the distance covered. in 3.6 hour okay so here this one is as same as the previous one so you can directly write down here distance covered in 3.6 hours that one equal to 50.4 into 3.6 km okay so now you have to multiply 50.4 into 3.6 and that one equal to 181.44 km as your answer now next one sum number 3 if a car covers 201.25 km in 3.5 hours okay so here the car covers a distance of 201.25 km in 3.5 hours then find the speed of the car so here you know how to find out the speed speed equal to distance okay speed equal to distance by time so as here distance equal to 201.25 and here time equal to 3.5 so you have to divide this one so as here 201.25 so now you have 3.5 okay so first here point will be here after 5 then here the point will be after 2 clear pehle tumko kya karna hoga pehle tumko point ko last mein lena hoga okay so 5 ke aage point hai isko last mein lena hoga fir uske baad yahan se ek digit chala gaya point piche to yahan se bhi ek digit piche jayega iska matlab 2 ke aage tha 2 ke piche chala gaya so now you have 2012.5 clear so ab yahan par hum 35 ka table nikalenge so pehle yahan par hoga 201 so 35 into 5 it becomes 
35 into 6, it's 210. That means greater. So 35 into 5. So write down here 175. Now 175 subtract from 201, it becomes 26 here 2. Okay, now 35 into 7, it's become 245. 35 into 8, it's 280. That means greater number. So 35 into 7. So write down here, it's 245. Okay, now 262 minus 245, that one equal to 17. Now as here point, so point will be here and 5 here. So now 175. So 35 into 5, you know that it's 175. So here your answer that is 57.5 kilometer per hour. That is the speed of the car. Now sum number 4. So here a bus travels 160 kilometer in 4 hours. Okay. In 4 hours, the bus can travel 160 kilometer. Remember that. And the train travels. So this one is bus. And the train travels here in 5 hours. In 5 hours, the train can travel here 320 kilometer. That is for train. Okay. At uniform speed. Uniform speed means equal speed. So then find the ratio of the distance traveled by them in one hour. Okay. So as here in four hours, the bus can travel 160. So you can easily find out in one hour, the bus can travel 160 by four. Okay. And that one equal to four, four is a 16. So it's 40. So 40 kilometer. That one for bus. And here in one hour, the train can travel 320 by 5 kilometer so that one equal to here 5 6 are 30 then 20 that means 5 4 are 20 so 64 kilometer now if you want to find out the ratio between bus and travel so first if write down 40 then here the ratio sign that is is to this one like that way and then 64 okay so 40 is to 64 clear now you have to divide these two numbers by a number. So here as 40 and 64 both can be divided by 4. So 40 divided by 4 it becomes here 10 and 64 divided by 4 it becomes 16. Okay. I repeat you have to divide these two number with a single number. So 40 divided by 4 it's 10 and then 64 divided by 4 it's sorry 64 divided by 4 it's 16. Okay. Here again, you can divide it by 2. So it becomes 5 and here 8. That means 5 is to 8 is your final answer.